What's up, everybody? Tony Romeo here, and uh, I'm back with another how-to video. And this video today is to show you how I uh, start my remixes and bring vocals in and change the BPM from the original BPM to whatever it is that I want to do my remix in. Today I have it set to 128 BPM, my favorite because I love dance music and uh, house music. So uh, um, right now, uh, I just have a simple uh, beat looped here. And the reason why that's all I have is because the way I work is I'll s start off with a simple beat and then I'll bring the acapella, the vocals in uh, to that and lay it down on those beats perfectly get it all set and nice and then i'll start building around it whether it be other sounds since and and so on uh, uh but once i get the vocals uh set uh it seems to you know go a lot easier there for me because uh the vocals have always given me a hard time especially when you're changing the bpm if you're not changing the bpm then they they pretty much lay uh, lay well over whatever it is that you're doing with it. So, here's the beat. Simple beat, right? Um, let's drag in our vocal that we're going to be using today. Today we're going to be using Tears for Fears, Shout, 1984 classic. Um, this song is an is originally uh 98 bpm so it's you're gonna see it it's gonna be a huge uh jump uh in the bpm and i'll let you listen to it beforehand and afterwards you will definitely hear what it sounds like so just wanted to get rid of that little snippet there and from my experience it should be probably sit about right there and we'll see what happens so let's see what it sounds like now uh, before we convert or speed up the vocals Holy train wreck, Batman. That sounds like uh, me back in the day when I first started DJing, trying to put two records together. So, what we're going to do, we can do this two ways. You can come up here and select that right there, your little scissors. Or you can double click on the track itself, and then this will come up uh, on the bottom. First, you want to highlight track, and you want to turn... Uh, what Logic Pro X calls your flex tool. Yes, we want to turn it on. And it'll change color, it'll analyze the track. And we want to change it from slicing to tempo foam. Okay, now this right here is a great tool inside this program, but I won't get into the things that you can do with this right now, It's but it's pretty awesome. Uh, the things that you can do. You'll s s go back to file. You're going to go to functions and you're going to go to time and pitch machine. Okay, like I said, we know that it's a 98 BPM originally. And then our destination is we want it to be 128. And we're going to hit process and paste and let Logic Pro X hopefully do all the heavy lifting for us. It's going to convert it from 98 BPM to 128 BPM or as close as you can possibly get. Uh, you will see that some tracks uh, after you convert them won't always lay perfectly over um, your beats. You know, might start off perfect. Maybe you might get through like one verse or, you know, uh, uh, or so. 
and then the second verse or some other parts or little parts here or there might come in a little too fast or a little too late uh, but it does a great job of getting you super close and you know if it still comes in a little too late a little too soon uh, there's two ways that you can really do it in this program you can just cut the track and move it forward or back which is easy or you can actually go into that flex tool program that I was showing you and use that to adjust certain portions of the track or the vocals that you're working on today if we see something wrong I'm just gonna quickly cut and move it and you'll you guys will see it okay we're just about there okay so let's see what she sounds like now difference now you guys can hear it shout, shout, let it all out. Oh, did you hear the the second shout came in a little too fast right even though the first portion was laid correctly right there looks sounds like we had a, a little problem but let's listen to it again in case you guys didn't hear it let's move that back shout, shout, let it all out. these are the things I can do guys hear it so now you heard it if you didn't hear it you can always rewind I'm gonna come up here get my little scissors let's uh, open it up a little bit so I have more room to cut I'm gonna cut it right there and I'm going to move it just a hair doesn't need to be moved that much Alright, let's do it again. Shout, shout, let it all out. These are the things I can do without. Come on, I'm talking to you. Come on. Shout, shout, let it all out. These are the things I can do without. Come on. So you get the you get the gist you see where we came where we went uh, where we started should I say and where we are now big difference and if you also hear the key of the vocals did not change uh, and that was a very big jump that's uh, what was that 30 BPM uh, so the program does a very very good job of changing the BPM and uh, once you get it set and listen to it all the way through and you have all the vocals right on top of the beat and sounding the way uh, it's supposed to then for me this is where I start uh, becoming creative and uh, start my remix once I know that it's laid down properly on the track um, so I hope uh, uh, you guys enjoyed this video hope it was informative for you guys and uh, uh, as soon as I learn some more things with this program uh, that I can explain to you guys, uh, I'll make more videos. So uh, until then, keep making music, keep music alive, and uh, thanks for uh, watching. Take care.